If I can give one bit of advice to my fellow photographers, that would be just simply to remember what inspired you to pick up the camera in the first place. I usually work as an editorial portrait photographer, but I always try to find time to work on personal projects. I want you to really just feel the essence of what the architect was trying to accomplish. You know, it's not a monumental bridge, but it's monumental in functionality. I love photographing people, and I appreciate architecture. So my personal project allowed me to do a little bit of both, to bring my love of photographing people into my appreciation of architecture. Let's try something that you feel will will flow with that diagonal of the bridge first. So maybe something that's flowing and that will echo the, the angle, the drama of that slat right there, okay? My name is Jeffrey Salter. I'm a photographer in Miami, Florida. And today I've driven 100 miles to the Florida Keys to work on a series of photographs I call Key Bridge Dance. Now just gonna edge her a little bit. It's not a key light. The sun is so beautiful here. And you might want to have to pull that back a little bit because I'm going to do a composite. And then we need a light here on Adam. Remember, we have the sun and that's the key light, so you can be more sighty, okay? Today for my dance project, I'm using the IQ250 digital back with a 645 DF Plus body with a 40 to 80 LS lens. Trim that light down to stop a little bit. I've been keeping it kind of loose and following him as he moves about. Beautiful, lights beautiful, nice. Let's try that again, Adam, if you can do it safely. And, beautiful. Mmm, look at that. Wow, beautiful. Great. When I review pictures, I look for a sexy histogram. Without that beautiful mountain, you can go home. Sexy histogram and a wonderful dancer. You have beautiful elements, the S-curve of the bridge and that dramatic line. And camera's rolling and action. Now what I add as a photographer oh, is I'm adding lighting and timing. That's your light, so when you do the things there, that wraps your face very nicely, okay? okay. Yeah, oh my God, that's beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful, we love that. Lighting sculpts. Good lighting brings out definition in whatever and you're photographing. Good, love it. To bring a picture alive, to make it become more than just a photograph, you have to add depth, texture, tone, strobe, lighting. And these strobes are gonna make them pop out of this background. We're gonna use a fast shutter speed to bring down the background. So that bridge in the background is gonna be black and dark and a nice S. Okay, here we go guys. I'll let you know when I'm rolling. Camera ready and action. Fantastic. I just like the power of this invisible force that's binding them but yet pulling them apart. With this shot, I'm breaking the rules of composition. And that's what rules are made for in photography, is to, to break them. But it's important to know the rules so you can break the rules. And uh, this composition, I'm creating tension and drama and mystery. So it's more than just a photograph on a page. We're gonna light this scene with two Profoto B4 battery packs. In a situation like this, you need to be very mobile, move quick. And those battery packs allow me to do that. 
and I can control the light with the Profoto Air remote. It's very convenient. Why don't we do a nice cross light? You're gonna have to ride the lights because it's windy. I'm gonna shoot a thousandth of a second to balance out the ambience. I'm gonna actually make it more dramatic. I'm gonna drop it down. Because I want to create like a sculpture with these lighting. I'm gonna use the lighting to build modeling in depth. Stand out against the background a little bit. We're rushing against the light, so I'm gonna let you freestyle. Wow, that's nice. Thank you. I think we're wrapping up. We're about to lose the light, so we need to go to the, the next location. Okay. I've got two main shots planned for this second location. The first shot we're going to do is on this angular piece of concrete that just juts out of the water. And I chose that spot because when the dancer stands up on that angle, the sun is directly behind her. And also behind her is a gap in the bridge. And I wanted her to bridge the gap. Use the silver side, just pop it open. Good, beautiful. Well, it's not quite a silhouette because we're lighting it, but I want her body to reach up into the sky, and I want your hands to reach in. You're going this way, and she's going up. And I love it when she throws her head back, too. I've now switched to the Profoto B1s. I need to move quickly, and these heads, which have no packs, are perfect for that. I'm gonna send my assistant to wade into that water, and if the light's not right, I'm gonna send him out further. And action. Good. Great. Whoa. The second location are two rocks that just kind of jut out of the water. They're like lunar rocks, and I want the models to appear to be floating. We're going to slow down the shutter speed and try to build water a little bit. We're going to pop some strobes in there. We're going to paint with light. We're going to break all the rules because it's about having fun and it's about creating something for my heart. We've lost the light, and we are now going to try something a little bit different. We're going to use the B1 modeling lights to paint the light during the 16 second exposure. And just see what we're going to get. We started very early to begin our journey in Miami, but uh, we had got some great light from dusk to sunset to moonlight, and I'm very happy about the pictures, and it was a fantastic day.